Hello, today I'd like to show you how you can import multiple CSV or Excel files together as a single data frame or separate data frames. Let's take a look. Here I have four CSV files, all of them are about the sales and for each year, 2017 to 2020. And if it's one, just one single file, I can drag and drop and bring in exploratory. But then I have four files. That means I have to repeat this process four times. What if you have 12 files for every month of the year? That would be 12 times. So that's a little bit of a cumbersome, right? In such case, instead of importing one by one, you can actually select multiple files together and then drag and drop. And that will open the select CSV files dialog and then all those files being pre-selected. And you have the select all condition options that's actually really important. But for now, I'm gonna actually import these files by selecting all of those files by clicking one of these buttons. So let me explain what these two buttons are. So the simple one is this import button. What this is going to do is importing those files as a separate data frames. Then maybe you can merge them together after the import is done. So let's take a look. Click on import, and then like, you have the chance to set up. And then like, I'm gonna just click on okay. And then in this case, you can actually preview the, each file one by one. And if it's needed, you can change the parameters or setting for the, each import. And then if you don't wanna click on okay for every single file, you can click on okay for all. That will import all those CSV files and create each data frames. Now, as you can see, we have four data frames being imported. And then here, usually like you wanna merge them together because this, these are basically the same data, just different years. So it wouldn't that be nice to have all of them in a single data frame that you can create one single chart to track the trend or something like that. In such case, you can actually use the, the, the merge or another option might be even better. You can actually merge them together as part of the importing process. Let me show you what I mean. So we have four files here, right? So basically do the same thing, drag and drop. And then now we have four files being pre-selected in the same data import dialog. And then instead of clicking on this import button, you, we can click on this import and merge. This will import all of the CSV files and then merge together and then create one single data frame. Let's take a look. Click on the import and merge. You have one only one chance to set the parameters for the importing files. And then whatever the setting you do here will be applied to all the files, meaning these four files. And then I'm gonna click on the import button, the name for the one single data frame that will hold all those data. So I'm gonna click on the create button. And as you can see, this time we have only one single data frame called sales, and that includes all those four files. See this ID column that has the ID for each files that we imported together. So now what if later on, when you come back, maybe next year or next month or whatever, and then you find another file to be added to this file. Let's say that you have now the 2021. So here, instead of original four files, I have another file called sales underscore 2021, right? So how can I add this file? At this point, here is a data re-import button. If I click on this, what it's going to do is re-import the same files. That means from 2017 to 2020, these are the files that I originally selected. But 2021 that has been added to the same folder is not gonna be imported. But you wanna make it automatic to recognize whatever the new file is being added and then automatically import together. Right. So for that, you can actually go click on here and then see this in this dialog that 2021.csv is not selected. So you can actually click on select and then import an emerge button again. Or for the future convenience, instead of like every time the file is added, like you go back in here and then select the file, you can actually click on all button. Then this means whatever the file is there will be imported together by clicking on this re-import button. Or sometimes you might have like a different files in the same folder. Let's say like marketing underscore 2021.csv or something like that. Then you don't want to have the marketing data mixing is the sales data, right? In that case, 
by using this condition, the couple options, let's say to start with, and then you can actually set like a sales and then I click on apply. This means whatever the files whose names start with sales will be automatically picked up. And then by clicking on this button, automatically will be imported. Okay, so this is how you can bring in the multiple files into the exploratory in a very quick and convenient way. And then the demo was about the CSV files, but you can do so with other file types, such as Excel files as well. All right, thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.